Today we'll be having a look at a drawing tablet by Zents Labs. In previous lessons, I've demonstrated how to set up and use a drawing tablet in Inkscape to create things like vector brushstrokes and line art. In those lessons, though, I was using an older tablet that only has the bare essentials when it comes to features. Zents Labs, on the other hand, prides itself on build quality and added features that other tablets simply don't have. In this video, we'll be having a look at the medium pen tablet bundle that comes with a fairly large tablet, multiple pens and pen tips, as well as a handy controller that you can use to program your favorite keyboard shortcuts when working in Inkscape. Then, we'll set it up for use in Inkscape and take it out for a test drive. But before we get started though, I'd just like to say thank you to Zents Labs for sponsoring today's video. So the first thing I couldn't help but notice about the tablet after unboxing it is just how big it is. The tablet itself measures at roughly 15 inches in diameter, which is much larger than my other tablet when compared. The size difference is enough to make it feel like you're drawing on a large sheet of paper rather than a small notepad. This can be a good or a bad thing though, depending on your personal preference. A smaller tablet does have the benefit of shorter wrist movements. At the top of the tablet's face, there are three buttons that can be programmed to perform whatever mouse clicks or keystroke combinations you'd like, making them handy for use in applications like Inkscape. On the top edge of the tablet, there's a power switch with light indicators that let you know when the device is powered on. And the device also comes with a very nice carrying case with compartments to store your tablet and all its accessories. The pens that come with this drawing tablet are unquestionably the most impressive part of the bundle. The Zents Labs pen tablet comes with not one but two pens, each of which are exceptional in build quality with soft, rubberized grips that feel good to hold. One pen has a larger grip with three programmable buttons, whereas the other only has two and is smaller in size. And both pens have removable tips that can be swapped out with an assortment of other tips using the handy tool that's included. The USB dongle it comes with enables your computer to pick up signal from the pens, and the other dongle is a lightning cable adapter for those of you who may be Mac users. All of this is conveniently housed in a nice case that feels sturdy and protective. Interestingly enough, the tablet also comes with a glove that covers your ring finger, pinky, and the bottom of your hand so that it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to draw. This is actually one of my biggest frustrations when using drawing tablets in the past. Accidentally tapping your wrist or the palm of your hand on the tablet surface results in unwanted clicks. This glove prevents that from happening, which is a welcome benefit despite how silly it may look. The most interesting aspect of this device would be the controller it comes with, which is something I've never used before personally, but now that I have, I don't think I'd like using a drawing tablet without one. The controller is sort of like an extension of your keyboard and mouse. It makes drawing with the tablet convenient because it gives you shortcuts to many of the common functions you normally need the keyboard and mouse for. For example, I program the dial of my controller to zoom in and out, and then I program the other buttons to perform the path functions I need for the example design that I created in Inkscape. These settings can be saved as a template for future use and can even be paired with up to five other templates. So if you like to use different design applications, you can create various shortcut templates for every application. Setup and installation will vary based on your operating system, but the insert that comes in the box has instructions that will walk you through the entire process step by step. You'll need three available USB ports for plugging in the tablet, controller, and pen adapter. They do have wireless capabilities though, so once they're fully charged, you can unplug them if you'd like. Once you've followed the instructions to install your device, you'll be prompted to input your desired settings. Here you can program the controller's buttons to whichever keystrokes, mouse clicks, and combinations you'd like. So now let's have a look at how well this tablet works in Inkscape. As you can see, I program the controller buttons to perform some of the most common functions that I use in Inkscape, and then I program the dial to zoom in and out when turned. Having these shortcuts nearby on the controller makes drawing with a pen tablet so much easier because you won't have to waste nearly as much time reaching for the keyboard and accessing things through the menu system. It's not enough to cover every function that I need, but it does make a noticeable difference. Now, as a logo designer, I've never really spent much time with hand drawings and brush strokes. Most of what I do is drawing with shapes. So a drawing tablet isn't something that has very much use for someone like me, but it does have its uses. For example, I would use this device for making calligraphy, vector brush strokes, line art, and even shading. As you can see in my example though, today I'm just putting together a simple vector banner that says Logos by Nick. This isn't the sort of task I would typically use a drawing tablet for, but I figured I'd try it out anyway just to see how I like the workflow of using the tablet. 
In conclusion, the Zens Labs Pen Tablet is a premium product that comes with a premium price tag. If you're someone who has used drawing tablets before in the past and you know you'll get good use out of them in the future, then this bundle can be a good investment in the long run. Thanks to all of the features and accessories it comes with, you'll be provided with everything you need, and its exceptional build quality means it will last a long time. That should do it for today's video. Thanks again to Zens Lab for sponsoring this review, and if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. As always, thanks for watching.